Are you guys ready to get into some graphics? I know I am. And that's exactly what we're going to do in today's tutorial, uh, the 28th Java Game Applet tutorial with me, Travis, and my bring back. I'm glad to be your host today. And this is exactly, whoa, this isn't what we're, well, yeah, this is exactly what we're going to get done in today's tutorial. Doesn't look like much, but, uh, you know, after we get this image set up, the next tutorial we're going to animate it to kind of make it move along kind of slowly. Um, but we're going to get this accomplished in today's tutorial, so let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is go into our starting point class, and we're going to set up some variables that we're going to need. So we're going to set up two doubles. Um, so we're going to say double and city x. Set this equal to be zero to start out with. This is going to be the x position of our image. Uh, we're going to also set up another double. That's going to be you know how fast it scrolls across the screen. So we're going to say city dot uh, or city dx. All right, and we're going to set our dx value uh, to be 0.3. That's why we need doubles instead of int uh, values because if they're, well, I'll, I'll get to that in the next tutorial. It probably makes more sense here. So after we have those two doubles set up, uh, the x position of our image and the speed of our image, we're also going to set up our URL, and we're going to say URL, bam, and uh, image as well. The, you know the big money maker the gold that we're doing for today's tutorial and we're gonna call that image city the next thing that we have to do is jump down to the initialize method down here and kind of set up the variables that uh, we didn't set up in our header so the first variable that we're gonna set up is our URL and we're first gonna set up a try bracket um, and we're gonna say URL is equal to uh, get document base so uh, there you go. That's what that looks like. Uh, we put this in the try bracket, so our URL is like, um, hey, uh, you know, try to do this URL, please, because if you don't, it's gonna not make our application look pretty, um, because our images won't be able to be loaded. And so, you know, we're just gonna put that in a try bracket. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes URL is kind of lazy, and he's like, yo, I just didn't feel like trying today. And we're like, hey, you're in a try bracket, man. You better try this. Well, kind of. I don't know. So anyways, uh, we're going to say also add a catch exception. So we're going to put out a catch and then control space and then just hit enter. And it sets up our catch, ex catch exception there. Um, and there we go. We have our URL set up. The re what the URL is doing, what this means is it's getting the base of our document. If we go into our finder here, whoops wrong screen alright so we go into our finder and uh, here's our project our workspace here is uh, called the basics and under the basics we have this web game and then we have the source and here's all of our Java files um, I want you guys to create a folder within our source uh, within our source folder I want you to create a folder called images and then within the images we're gonna save a PNG like I showed you in the last tutorial of our buildings so this is a transparent uh, background here. It's a ping, PNG, and uh, it's also 800 by 600 if you guys want to make your own. So uh, there you go. Uh, those are the dimensions. We could have cut it off here, but just to make it kind of simple to start out with, uh, you know, using images, I made it the same size as our applet. Um, and there we go. Um, sorry to get sidetracked, but that's where you're going to save your image. And that's, uh, you know, the base document is referring to the base of our applet. Hey, applet, where are you starting from? Where is everything coming from? And, uh, you know, this is just the base of our applet. Then we can refer to that image folder. Then we can refer to our images within the ima uh, images folder. Um, but as for now, URL just means the base of our applet. Make sense? All right. So now what we have to do is we have to set up our actual image. So we're going to say city set this equal to get image and as you can see uh, we're going to use this one get uh, image URL and then a string name so for our URL we're just going to use URL which is the base of our applet and then for our name we're actually going to refer to the path so we're going to say uh, within quotes images um, forward slash buildings dot png all right, now some of you guys might be like, okay, I had to pause this video a few times to catch up because I didn't have the image. Thanks a lot, douchebag. 
And it, where was I going with that? Anyways, oh yeah. Some of you guys are probably like, hey, I created the image folder, but I don't have the folder within my, you know, source folder in Eclipse. Well, all you have to do is, again, just go to Project Clean and then, you know, clean your project, throw it in the bathtub, scrub a dub dub, and you should have your image folder appear here. So that's how that works. And within our image folder, we have these buildings, PNG or ping. Um, and also another thing to note, if this extension is all capitals, like capital PNG, you want to make sure that this is capital PNG as well. It's case sensitive. So mine is lowercase and it's going to work. All right, so we've set up our city image. Pretty cool. All we have to do now is paint it to our applet. And again, within the starting point class, we're going to scroll down to the paint method and we are going to paint um, the very first thing that we're going to do because it's in the background. We want to have it we want to have this as the first lines of code. So we're going to first set up a color, which is going to be our nice starry uh, night sky um, without the stars and, uh, and the moon or anything like that. So we're going to refer to our graphic and we're going to say uh, set color. And we're going to set this to a default color um, or the blue color that I had. So we're going to say set color um, to new color. And we're going to pass in the RGB values of 15 77 and 147 and that should give us that nice blue and then we're gonna you know paint a rectangle that's gonna fill our whole applet so we're just gonna say g dot fill rectangle or fill rec and we're gonna refer to the zero zero for the starting position for the width we're gonna say get width and for height we're gonna say get height so anyways we have that set up we have this nice color of blue and then we want to paint our image, right? So we're just going to say G again, our graphic, and we're going to say draw image. Pretty standard, uh, you know, pretty simple. But uh, we have some different parameter options that we can choose from. We're going to choose this one, third one down, that just takes an image, an X value, a Y value, and then an image observer. So we're going to check that. And uh, for our image, again, we're going to refer to our city. For X position, we're going to say city X. For Y position, we're going to say zero, and for our observer, we're going to say this. And we're getting an error real quick because, again, our city X variable is a double. And with this method, it's looking for an int value. That's why we're getting the error. So all we're going to do is we're going to cast in um, this city X as an int value. Uh, so, you know, that's casting there for you. And let's save this, run it. That's pretty much the end of this tutorial and we have a nice little background scenery. So in the next tutorial, we'll talk about the animation and how to kind of cycle through and you know all that stuff. So thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next tutorial, and have a good one. Throw it in the bathtub, scrub a dub dub.